My name is Diane McCombs. I'm the Robotics Coordinator here at the Pella Regional Health Center. In March 2016, we opened up an additional operating room known as OR4. This room was needed due to our increased volume of surgical growth over the past few years. From 2013 to 2014, we saw a 30% increase, and from 2014 to 2015, an additional 17.7%. This room will allow greater flexibility in scheduling our surgeons and their patients. This room is truly unique. Hi, my name is uh, Dr. Matt Morgan. I'm a general surgeon here at Pella Regional Health Center. I've been here about 12 years. Uh, I've been robotic trained um, probably for the last four or five years. Uh, we brought our robotics program here in 2010. When I first started doing robotic surgery, we did a lot of just gallbladders and some basic surgeries. But now where I've kind of moved that is into hernia repairs, complex hernia repairs, colon resections. Uh, that's probably been the biggest growth, uh, as well as uh, inguinal hernia repairs. Uh, it's allowed, it's actually kind of opened up a whole new avenue of cases that I was either doing laparoscopic or open. Now I can do them easier uh, robotically. Uh, and so it's really just been a very nice asset to have. And, and also to really develop and to drive and to, to start using it in different ways. The surgical growth has been a really great thing, but it has also presented challenges to us as far as our workflow within the department and the ability to manage multiple cases throughout a day. And having an additional operating room really, really helps the surgeons have more available rooms to do their procedures in. In the early planning phases of this room, we looked at the areas of our surgical growth and we looked to the future of surgery. Robotics was and would be a big part of that. It was then decided to renovate this room around the robotics program, but being able to use this room for other specialties when the robot was not in use. Also at this time, we had done nearly 1,000 procedures in the existing room. We knew what worked well, but we were able to identify work deficiencies and staff concerns. One of those biggest concerns was the amount of cords and power cords that were on the floor. So the result was the integration of the robotic system with the Stryker video system, now reducing the number of power cords and cables on the floor. This made it possible by special ordering what we call a surgical boom from Stryker. This is the Stryker boom that houses both the Da Vinci and the Stryker systems. Now instead of these systems being separate, they're as one on this one unit decreasing the amount of cords and power cords that run between the two. So from here, other power cords and cables are ran through the ceiling and to other pieces of equipment around the room. Firefly is an advanced visual tool using infrared fluorescence imaging to detect a dye that is injected into the patient's bloodstream through an IV that doctors can utilize while doing robotic surgery. This advanced technology, with the use of a special camera, scope, and light source, excites the molecules of the dye producing a green highlighted image on a blackened monitor screen to help identify vessels, ducts, and blood flow to tissues and other anatomical structures in a more complex procedure. Examples would be to be able to identify blood vessels versus ducts and arteries when doing a cholecystectomy or removing the gallbladder. Also, we can use this during pelvic surgeries where we need to identify the ureter so these are not damaged throughout the procedure. The Firefly is yet another example of the most advanced surgical technology on the market that we are able to offer to our patients and to give them the best care possible. That's what they deserve and they expect from us. So once the surgeon has our instrumentation in place on our patient, what he does is he comes over to what we call the surgeon console. This is his working center. Um, he's able to sit down and then places his head in this area here, being able to visualize inside the abdomen in 3D high resolution. As he's sitting here, he's able to control the instrumentation at the bedside by placing his fingers in what we call the master grips. Two fingers go into each one of these. He's able then to direct the surgery tips inside the, inside the patient's abdomen during the procedure. Before our renovation, our robotic procedures were performed in a regular operating room, which was the same size, square footage, same layout, same design as our other ORs. So that presented challenges, and that room wasn't specifically designed for the robot, but we made it work. 
And the new room, though, was designed for the Da Vinci system. So we um, put a lot of thought into the design of the room and what would allow the best uh, workflow for our staff and for the procedures. It also has additional square footage. It's about 200 square feet larger than our other rooms. And it was great to develop a room built specifically for the Da Vinci. We can perform other procedures in there as well. But just the thought and the design that went into this room was really a great, great thing. Another benefit of the renovation is the 800 square foot room. We now can do all of our surgical procedures in one layout, instead of having to change positions of our equipment and our bed between each procedure. This room is different from the other rooms we have. They're all good rooms and they all have safe equipment. It's just that this is the newest room. And being the newest room, it's more of the up-to-date equipment that's just weeks or months old rather than maybe a couple of years old. And that's also the anesthesia equipment I have here right next to me. Has all the latest in high definition and touch screen and all computerized uh, information that we can log into here. Their anesthesia machine is actually one that's called a CS2. And then what it does, it, it, the idea is to put less gas into the atmosphere. So it helps us reduce the amount of anesthesia we give the patient by monitoring and reducing our flows because that all goes into the atmosphere. That all goes into a system that takes it to the atmosphere. So we want as little as possible to affect our, the greenhouse gases kind of thing. So it is designed that way to to be efficient. It's also cost effective that way. That way we're not using more agent than we need to use, which adds cost to the patient, but we do it in a safe manner and efficient manner. First room in the state of Iowa. Um, I believe there is one in Minneapolis as well, and there are six of these rooms out in Seattle, Washington, which is kind of the robotic hub in the nation. So we were really excited for Stryker to partner with us and help us design this room. They, in turn, were also really excited about it. And I know that they're going to share this with other clients who are interested in designing this, this type of room. So they will use our room as um, a site for other clients to model their new rooms after us. And we've, we've served as a visiting site for other Da Vinci programs throughout the country. So I'm looking forward to um, interest in this room and people coming to spend some time here in Pella and see what this room's all about.